I just saw a video on YouTube, my like suggested videos called like five things you don't know about me. And I thought that'd be fun to film. What's the first thing that people don't know about me? That I have a dead tooth. And then I thought, I've told everybody about that already. So what are some other things that people don't know about me? So I came up with a few and I'm gonna tell them to you right now. Gritz is here. He may jump on my lap. It's been a while since you've done that. He's done that actually. Gritzy, it's nice to have you back. Gritz is my cat. You should know that I have two cats, Grits and Gravy, but that's not one of the things you don't know about me. Here are some of the things you may not know about me. Number one, I have two tattoos. I don't regret them. Could I live without them? Yes. Number two, I used to host a radio show in college. This was at my first college, which was a small school in Michigan. And it was with my friend Cassie, and I think we had like an hour or a half hour slot, and we would both hate each other's music that we chose, and host little contests for people to call in, and no one would call in because no one listened to the radio. But I was like, man, maybe my future is in radio DJing, and people often tell me that I have a nice calm voice, and I'm like, I could totally be an NPR radio host. But I don't know, I'm kind of busy. Number three. I used to have an outline of the Big Dipper in freckles on my back. <laughs> I thought that was really special. Do you remember the show on Nickelodeon? I don't even remember the name of it, but you could go on there if you had talents and, I don't know, compete based on your talent. I was like, I will go on the show because of the Big Dipper on my back and I will win. I didn't go on the show and the Big Dipper has disappeared. Either the freckles have faded or I've gotten more freckles and it's kind of like just disappeared into the abyss of freckles on my back. Number four, I was a cheerleader in high school. That should shock you. <laughs> should it? I don't feel like I'm the cheerleader type. Anyway, I did competitive cheer and then I cheered for high school for a while. Number five. I had to go by my middle name when I worked at a salon because there was another stylist there named Kate. So they said, what do you want your name to be? And I thought, this is such a rare opportunity in life where you can choose a new name to be identified by. What should I choose? I went with my middle name, Ashley, which is a perfectly fine name, but like, why didn't I choose like Starlight? Well, but why didn't I choose like, I always liked the name, um, Cadence, which is sort of unusual, and I, I'm a traditionally named kind of girl, but why didn't I go by Cadence or one of the names I've always liked? Or I always love the name Betsy. I should have gone by Betsy. What number are we on? Six? Number six. As a child, I actually need to try this. I used to be able to bend my toes under my feet and walk around, and I have seen Luke, my two-year-old, do that unprompted. So if this is your foot, I could bend my toes under, um, just like if you were bending them down to stretch them, but then I could walk on them. I weigh like a touch more than I did when I was six, so I don't know if that's a good idea to try right now because I might break all my toes, but that was like my special talent. Number seven, I hate mayonnaise. It's disgusting. Don't you dare give me anything with mayonnaise on it. Mayonnaise is disgusting. How can you eat that? Number eight. I'm extremely social, becoming more and more extroverted by the day. I also likely have ADD and need, I, I tell my friends like I, I'm really happy and happiest operating at like 150 to 200 miles an hour with like 50 things going on. Now none of them are done very well, but I like having all of that on my plate. It's just very satisfying to me. Was that number eight? Number nine, I rarely wash my jeans. Rarely. Very rarely, I can't remember the last time I washed my jeans. At number 10, I'm terrible at math. Very bad at math. Thankfully, I married an engineer who's very good at math. So when our kids have math questions, I'll just say, go to dad. I don't know, don't care to know. Don't need to know. You should know, child. But I, I just am bad at that and I'm not gonna try anymore. 
Anyway, I'm sure there's like a million, I know there are a million other things you don't know about me, but I thought those were just 10 that may, may surprise you a little bit. I don't know, maybe not. So, do you know me better? I hope so. Wish I knew all of you better. I appreciate you watching videos, checking my blog, um, commenting on social. That's such, this is like anyone I, I meet or talk to about my job, I'm like, it's the dream job. It is the dream job. Super, super thankful for you guys. So. Uh, I thought this would just be a fun video to make, so I hope you enjoyed it.